The indestructible Rolling Stones have announced a new tour for 2024, and I've got to say a few words about this. Hi everybody, I'm Paul Crason, and you're watching Music Mentions. Not only have the Stones released their best album since Tattoo You over 40 years ago, they've just announced that they're going back on the road in 2024 for a new North American tour. Both Mick Jagger and Keith Richards will be 80 years old when they hit the stage on massive stadiums in front of tens of thousands of fans. This sparked a few thoughts on my part that I wanted to share with you all. But before I do that, let's go over what we know at the time of this recording based on a notification that the Stones sent out. The 2024 tour was announced at 8 a.m. Eastern on Tuesday, November 21st of 2023. There are 16 dates currently scheduled, with the first one being April 28th in Houston, Texas. The last one is July 16th in Santa Clara, California. If you notice, they are only playing one show in each city. The tour is being sponsored by AARP, which stands for the American Association of Retired Persons. I don't remember when I first started hearing the joke about AARP sponsoring a Stones tour, but it has to stretch back at least 25 to 30 years. Obviously, they heard this joke before as well, but the fact that AARP is actually sponsoring this tour is simply hysterical. I think... The Stones are having the last laugh here. Let's talk about the tickets. The fan pre-sale tickets are on sale on Wednesday, November 29th, and the general public sale is on Friday, December 1st. Now, prices have yet to be released, but expect these tickets, especially for seats close to the stage, to be expensive. Very expensive. Given what we've seen in recent years with ticket prices from the likes of Bruce Springsteen and Taylor Swift, we all better brace ourselves for the sticker shock that awaits us. Okay, so those are the details that we know at the time of this recording. So as a Stones fan and as a music lover, what do I really think about all of this? I've got five things that I want to cover with you all. Number one, I think the Stones are going to announce more dates as soon as these initial tickets are sold out. And they're going to announce these dates pretty quickly. This tactic of announcing only a few dates with the initial tour announcement has become a lot more commonplace over recent years. Essentially, what the band does is they will reserve multiple dates in the same locations with anticipation that they will announce additional shows at the same locations. If you notice the large gaps in the schedule, you can see that the Stones have a lot of opportunities to add more dates between April 28th and July 16th. Essentially what they're doing here is they're employing the law of scarcity. And the law of scarcity states, if what we desire appears to be in limited supply, the perception of its value increases significantly. This helps customers to justify the ticket prices by increasing the demand. FOMO is a real thing, especially for such a high-profile tour. Thought number two, although there's a lot of natural skepticism that 80-year-olds can convincingly rock a stadium full of fans for over two hours, don't underestimate the stones here. Not only can they rock an audience at their age, they can do it very convincingly and very well. Don't ask me how Jagger is able to do it. Just be grateful that at his age, he is fit enough to be able to prance, to dance, and to sing his heart out on these recent tours. He is literally doing things on the stage like a man half his age. Thought number three. I think this tour is going to be more about the event and the celebration than it is about being a concert. Now, don't get me wrong. The performances and the music, of course, are going to be critical. But I think what a lot of fans are going to be attending these shows for is to see the Stones on potentially, most likely, what is their final tour ever and just to be there and to soak in that experience. 
and also say thank you to the Stones for the decades of great music that they've given us. I imagine that there are going to be a lot of wet eyes, a lot of emotions at the end of these shows as the fans realize that the road does not go on forever and they bid goodbye to their heroes. Thought number four. One of the really cool things about this tour is they've got this great new album that they're touring behind called Hackney Diamonds. If you want to see what I thought of the album, you can see it in the link right up here. Yes, of course they're going to be playing those old classics and old chestnuts night after night, but I don't think this is like the traditional legacy tour that you see a lot of bands go out and do these days where all they play are hits from decades past. They have a new album, so this mixes things up a little bit. And most likely, it's probably going to invigorate the set list. This isn't a pure nostalgia trip for the band or the fans. There is new music here, which is cool. Thought number five. We are currently living through history right now as we've got Dylan, we've got Paul McCartney, and we've got the Stones all in their 80s still touring and still drawing in crowds. They are all pushing the envelope on what old rockers can do and frankly they're laying down the blueprint for younger bands. This is really cool and this really hasn't happened in history before. These younger bands will appreciate this era when they reach their senior years and they still have an audience that they can pull in when they're 80. So those are my initial thoughts about this new Stones tour. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Are you going to go to the show? Do you think the Stones are too old? Do you think this is purely a money grab? I'm really curious knowing what my viewers are thinking about all of this. And if you're curious, yes, I am planning on going to see the show in Denver, Colorado. As long as I can still manage the costs, we'll see what the ticket prices are. But I think I will be attending. I, I can't miss what is potentially the final Stones tour. Anyway, I'm Paul Crayson. You've been watching Music Mentions. If you like this video and appreciate what I do, please give me a like or please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications. I really appreciate that. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.